Why go back to school? It's been a desire the whole time. Yeah. And then life happens. You meet someone, you get married, you have children, you're in a nursery for a while doing ECMO and doing all that. And you're, you know, and thrilled with your job, but you're really always putting that on the back burner. Like right. when I'll go back to school or how I'll go back to school, which really leads me just to tell you that the convenience of this, the convenience and knowing the comfort that I felt with Jaron and Karsten and the program just kind of gave me that last push. And last semester, critical care, you know, critical care. I can never learn enough cardiac and stuff like that. Right. So critical care really helped me a lot. I spent as much time as I can um, in MICU, you know, our intensive right. care unit. And it really does. It re I mean, honestly, I can't, I can't understate how much right. you learn. What do you say to the people that think it's, it's too late for me? No, it's never too late. It's never too late. Um, and honestly, for the only two classes that I've taken so far, when I do hear that sometimes from even coworkers, you know, the most important thing is how you feel about it. Right. So even if I were, I still have some time to retire, but it's never too late. Right. You know, even if you were going to get it for the value just for yourself, or even if you were going to retire in, in a couple years after, it's just, there's no, I mean, I think once we see with the um, ACCS and the NPS and all the advanced specialties right. and the test for those and stuff, I think it kind of lets you know that it's, it's probably definitely the way of the future. Right.